One of the topics that can be confusing when talking about optical transmission is bit rate versus baud rate. Bit rate refers to the amount of data that can be transmitted between two devices per unit of time, usually per second. Baud rate is similar, but refers to the number of symbols that can be transmitted in the same interval. Let me explain further. Bit rate and baud rate apply to any data transmission regardless of the medium. The data transmission could be over a 5G wireless network connecting your smartphone to the cell site. It could be over a hybrid fiber coax network that connects your cable modem to the internet. It could also include coherent optical transmission over a fiber optic network that connects an enterprise to a data center across town, across the country, or even across oceans. When we began connecting computers, we needed a simple, cost-effective data transmission scheme. That scheme is binary transmission. In binary transmission, we send a single bit of information. In the case of binary transmission with fiber optics, we turn on a laser to indicate a one and we turn it off to indicate a zero. If we do that at a billion times a second, we can achieve one gigabit per second transmission. If we pulse the laser even faster at 10 billion times a second, we achieve 10 gigabits per second. This is in fact the transmission bit rate. With a binary transmission scheme, this also happens to be the baud rate. But are the bit rate and the baud rate always the same? No, in fact, except for binary transmission, the bit rate and the baud rate are never the same. So what if we could not only turn the laser on and off, but we could also change its amplitude or its phase? Well, that's exactly what we do with modern coherent optical transmission systems. With quadrature phase shift keying as an example, we put the laser in one of four states. By doing so, we can send two bits of information per symbol, effectively doubling the bit rate. Modern 800 gigabit per second coherent optical engines, like Infinera's i6, transmit up to 100 billion symbols per second and they utilize sophisticated modulation schemes that enable up to six bits to be transmitted per symbol. They also use something called polarization that enables the engine to double the transmission capacity. When we put that all together, we achieve over a terabit per second of raw transmission. However, a portion of this data is required for internal use for things like framing, overhead, and forward air correction. When we subtract that, we get usable bit rate of 800 gigabit per second. The baud rate is still 100 gigabaud, or 100 billion symbols per second. So there you have it. Bit rate refers to the number of bits that can be transmitted between two devices per unit of time, usually expressed in bits per second. The baud or symbol rate refers to the number of symbols that can be sent in the same amount of time. Only in binary transmission schemes do we see the bit rate equal to the baud rate. For other more complicated transmission schemes, we always expect the bit rate to exceed the baud rate because each symbol carries more than one bit of information.